Can you look at uh, HBCU football and we get into November? Can you just talk about the intensity as a college football shifts gears and, and it, it, it kicks up another notch, if you will, going into uh, November? Yeah, you know, you're either a contender or a pretender in the month of November. And so, uh, you know, you, you see, you turn on the tape and you see guys, you know, the progression of watching maybe some film when you saw guys early in the year and everybody's kind of figuring it out and getting their feet wet and you turn it on and a couple weeks later and it looked like a, a different ball club. So uh, you definitely see the intensity start to pick up um, when you get in conference play. And then from week to week, you, you don't know, you know, you don't know which way it's going to go. So you have to have your guys, you know, uh, revved up and, and ready to go week to week because it, it is a, um, it's going to be, you know, a ball game. And a lot of, especially with us, we've been finding ourselves all the way down in the last possession um, being single possession games. A lot of the times in some of these, uh, in some of these games, you know, or a call that goes your way or go the other way you know, can be the difference in the game. So uh, definitely uh, the intensity of it picks up uh, and, and guys have to be ready to go every week. Coach Scott, uh, just the legacy of, of HBCU coaches and uh, black coaches in college football. We look at yourself and what you've been able to do uh, with your resume at the U and, and now at Howard HU. And then you, you look across the field on Saturday and you see a gentleman like Buddy Pugh. Can you just talk about the legacy of, of black coaches? And, and again, it's a beautiful thing. Oh man, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, you know, and I've all, I've known Coach Pugh for a very long time. Uh, we when we ran in some of the same coaching circles, he worked with uh, Skip Holtz, who I work with also as well uh, in you know, in college football. And so I got to know Buddy. Um, you know, when we weren't working in the same area, I mean, working in the same league and those type of things. And uh, when the, the interest came from Howard to take on this opportunity, he was one of the coaches that I spent some time visiting, you know, with about the opportunity and those type of things. So uh, a guy that I have a, a ton of respect for, uh, the job that he's done there, but more than more importantly, just, you know, the man that he is, the coach that he is, um, because you, you get around any of his former players, or people that have been around and they all light up because of, you know, who, who he is in their lives, not only as a coach, uh, but as a man that is budding. So uh, a lot of respect and admiration for him and, uh, and, and kind of just, you know, the epitome of why we do what we do in, in, in the big picture of things.